Hello everyone Hello. and Hello. welcome to Against the Giants. We out here. I'm joined by Mads. Hey. Jonathan. Yo. And Jordan. Hello. As Ro, Arungandir, and Zafrab. Meg will join us later as Torvi. Andy will join us later in a bit probably as Gosberg. And then we have a surprise returning guest. To aid your team. Dun, dun, dun. Could it be? We don't know. I actually really don't. You don't. I haven't told you. I refuse to tell you. One day. I'm just gonna be shook when some like random stranger rolls up. In. Yeah, I know. You, can you can you act surprised? Because you yeah, actually be don't. Like, know. Oh my god! I'll pretend like I know this person, <laughs> and like they'll they won't know who I am. You okay? Roe might have seen them in passing in Nutwood. Okay. But like. But it, you, they'll just probably be really confused. It's like, what? It's that guy? Like. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that checks no. out. I hope it's not what I just thought of. Who did you think of? Ricky. No, it's not. Okay. I'm not putting Ricky on your oh, team. Thank God. I, I know who Ricky is. <laughs> no, no I can't give Andy two characters oh, to run. For the love of God. That's too much Please, power. No. Is it Please, the Please, God, no. Huh? Is it the bard? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to be the bard, baby. Oh my god, did I tell you guys about that? Like, when we were doing uh, Pirates, like, I couldn't... I, I had to come up with, like, two songs to do for Mic Check. Because, like, when, like, Matt Cobb came up one day and asked, like, Hey, what are you doing for Mic Check? And I was, like, I told him what I was doing. He's like, oh, cool. And then he goes up and does it before I get on there. And I was like, oh, you dick. <laughs> like... So, I know. I, I was like, oh! Like, I'm so shook. So, like, every day he would just come up to me and ask, like, what he should do, or, like, what I was doing, and I just, like, started doing girl songs for my own mic check. I would never do that. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Uh -huh. I want to Yeah. I, I wasn't even, like, mad. I was just shook because, like, I wasn't expecting that <laughs> shit. Like, it just came out of left field. You got got. I got spooked. Um, so you guys are still in the... So dumb. Okay, <laughs> and... So, dumb. so, you guys are still on your way to... I'm getting super close because I'm closing an app. And I can't see. I'm closing Discord because Andy just messaged me. Um, you guys are still in the... The Frost Giants' lower level of their stronghold yeah. in a room yeah. that was covered by a boulder wherein a frost... Uh, not a frost. A storm giantess uh, laid prisoner of the Frost Giants. You have been introduced to her as Karna. Uh, she, so you all snuck into that room invisibly. Am I here? You are not there. I'm going to get to you in a second. Okay. Um, Just and you are, you <laughs> rested. Sure if you wanted me to be like, poof, and now I'm here. No, I have a plan for you. I'm gonna, Alrighty. I'm gonna get you guys covered, but surviving is, like, up to you guys. <laughs> I'll get you and our guest there. Great. Um, yeah, the turtles have come to visit. Uh, so, uh, you guys have rested during that time. But, first, a, a preview shot. We see on the snowy, walking up the snowy mountain, we see returning frost giants from down south. Uh, okay. Carrying bags, one of which wriggles oh no. as they carry it. Oh, fuck. A bunch of returning frost giants marching up the mountain Here in the come. blizzard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they yes. Like oh, God, we're being invaded by turtles. Um, <laughs> Jordan, your toes are exposed. I just want you to let them know they will they nibble. They chomp? They, they can't, like, bite your toe off. They're desert tortoises, but, like, they they'll give you a nibble. They'll give you a nibble, Jordan. A nibble you won't soon forget. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I let them do it one time just to see what it felt like, because otherwise I always ran away like, no! How do you feel? <laughs> Uh, it's like, did it hurt? That? No, it just, it's like, ah, no. It's just kind of like unsettling because it's like, it's just, it's just a numb. They didn't nibble you? No, no, it's just, there's so many. Now there's things. three under yes, Jordan's feet. Um, <laughs> Snaggletooth. Hello, Snaggletooth. God, I'm um, scared. 
so approach. they want to play. Uh, so it's the great turtle migration. <laughs> <laughs> these giants pass by. Giant turtles. Under the watchful eye of a crow. Oh. Some hours later, we see another procession as many humans and begin to walk up. They are all cloaked, so we can't see their faces. But one walks up the trail, uncovers some snow, finds a chunk of frozen cheese <laughs> that a giant had been munching on. <laughs> Gross. All right. Crumb to a giant. He knows they are close. And they continue to march up the mountain through the blizzard. Oh, jeez. Well, you shall have none! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Ro Capriolus. You have recovered from a cave-in happening on top of you. Oh, that's For good. the most part. That was rough. That was a rough time in your life. But you have recovered. You've been resting with Duranthrax for about a day or so. Mm -hmm. uh, Mudfoot and the other uh, folk who are in the, the cave. Lilea the Swift has been tending to you, the centaur guide you guys have. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the other guys have been just sort of milling about. Uh, old Jim, Garbon the Goblin. Uh, <laughs> Soap? Yeah, old... Uh, and a, a good juge, the barber. He's also been keeping an eye on you. Okay. Because he's a barber surgeon. Oh, okay. So he actually has some medical skill. He hasn't cut into you. That hasn't yeah, happened. Yeah, God, yeah. Hope uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> I just got hit by a rock. Like, yeah. They well, bandaged the shit out of you. You were a mummy for yeah. a little bit. Aww. You were the Yate. <laughs> um, it's like... You run into the giant stronghold, and they're like, "Run! It's the <laughs> attack!" Like, oh. <laughs> Suplex the giant. <laughs> um, That's very good. Uh, and your newest companion, Ogno the ogre, who is don't know if you were there for that. Maybe I don't think I don't you were. So. A rungan deer recruited an ogre. I forced a as uh, ogre into servitude. Uh, oh. Now he works at our camp. That, oh, oh you might have been, you might have left at that point. I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, that was a thing that happened. So now Love there's that. just like an ogre who's doing his damnedest to clean. He'll get there and cook. I have but he's an ogre, so he doesn't really have any concept of cleanliness. Oh, gross. He'll so, but great. he's trying. He's starting from the bottom. Bless his heart. There's nowhere to go from up for that. Um, but there's nowhere to go but up for an ogre when it comes to cleanliness. You know, it's gonna um, be an amazing glow up. True. Anything His cooking, happen? however, has been spectacular. Hey! Um, oh, Alright! Yeah. Good job, buddy! Uh, so, you you are getting ready to go, and you're trying to figure out a plan to get into the Frost Giant stronghold to rejoin your friends. When Moonin walks in. Okay. And he's accompanied by... Huh? I remember that. Film. Yes, the grayish-skinned yeah, tiefling yeah. in a cloak of crow feathers. Mm -hmm. Saved. He um, walks in with some other yeah, teeth, yeah. okay. and with uh, some humans who are in cloaks, and they they remove their cloaks, their at least the hoods. So you see them; they are all uh, uh, humans with either fair to uh, a darker skin, uh, wearing armor. Some of them have shields, and you see, and you recognize, the Sigildry of Stalheim, Torvi and Gosberg's home, the city that you passed through. Yeah, yeah. The, the last bastion of civilization you were in before you left for Hakam, the land of giants. Okay. And among them, you see a figure that your party, that Torvi and Gosberg had welcomed as a friend and had gotten really excited for. A red-haired ruffian with a red half-cloak by the name of Scrum. <laughs> okay. The Red Defender. Okay. And uh, they're all, like, in my room? 
They're in the. Well, you didn't have a room. You just yeah. had, you guys are just corner. in a cave. They they <laughs> step in. Yeah, a little in. curtain. <laughs> Healing. It's just my bandages. <laughs> that yeah. I hung up like streamers. They begin settling around the fire. Moonin approaches you and Mudfoot and says, Well, there's good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Um, oh god. Um, let's do the bad news first and then we'll, we'll, we can have, the good news will cheer us up after the bad news. Okay, so bad news first. Yes, please. The bad news is a bunch of frost giants returned from down south. So that they just bad. got some reinforcements. Oh, that is bad. You're not here. What's the good news? The good news is that people down south are pissed off. And it looks like a bunch of your friends from down south came to help us out. Oh, that's Those very fine good. fellows right there. Yes, I noticed that this cave did seem smaller. Also, the Taname tribe from the west has come to help us out. With these forces of Stalheim and Leviki combined, I think we have a good chance of fighting off many of those reinforced frost giants. Sounds good to me. I have a plan. I know you do your best when you're fighting with your friends, I've seen that. Yes, I would agree with that. I can arrange for you and your party's battle cats, for lack of a better word, and one other to rejoin your friends. Okay. You would have to sneak over the mountain, back into the rift, to the entranceway in the bottom, just like you guys did before. Ooh, okay. It's a bit more of a crawl, but you guys should have no problems. Alright. Okay, I can do that. When, no. when do we move? We move in a bit. We're, we're, I'm just organizing the forces, letting them warm up. Okay. Then we'll charge. You will sneak in while we distract them at the front. Perfect. I'll, um, I'll gear up. Alright. Allow me to introduce you to the person who will be joining you. Okay. And him and Scrump move aside. And we see someone who will be revealed when they freaking get here. Um, okay. Down in the lower levels. Oh, you guys... Have been. It's cold, yeah. which you guys don't really notice too much because you both have frost resistance. So good. Um, and you haven't starved because the Arl was nice enough to lay out a three-course meal on those on that fancy dinnerware, which is all valuable um, oh. if you have the inclination to steal it later. Uh, but yeah, so you guys are fed and ate, but you've been waiting down here and you're waiting for the hammer to fall because. Is bad, and you think like it's been a while. They probably should have noticed you're gone by now. Yeah, you know, your cavern didn't have a boulder in the way. They can just peer in. Um, although they they probably like you imagine you've at least confused them because like how the fuck did Gosberg get out of there without making noise? You know, right. like. Fearbulg have a reputation for being sneaky with their invisibility and ability to change forms. It's like, human men in heavy metal armor don't sneak around, so you've definitely perplexed them a bit <laughs> if they know you're gone. Yeah. Okay. So, do we just wait? So, Torvi has a plan. Um, uh, so, Torvi's like, so I'm thinking we should try and split up when we go. Your group goes and attacks the. Torby she's starting to, to run what? the game. Your group uh, with. Continue. It's just a suggestion. Torby this is this is Toby's plan. Um, she wants a team made of myself, Zaprab's keepers, and Ro when they get here, and then uh, Torvi, Gosberg, uh, yeah, and well, maybe 
of Cornelius or Ag uh, and Cornelius to go against uh, Rugnir, or at least try and find Rugnir. Right. So wait, who's going to go find Rugnir? So that would be uh, uh, Torvi, Gosberg, and uh, Cornelius to go look for Rugnir while we go and try and kill the uh, Cloud Giant. Well, I do want to say that there is, uh, I believe, an age-old song that I heard from a bard once, but no one really listens to it. Uh, I think the moral of the story is don't split the party, though. Don't split the party. It will make you sad. <laughs> don't yeah, split the out. party. Because the DM will make it bad. <laughs> I was just relaying the plan. No, the I mean, we could. I mean, we could do that. We could. Or we could. Do you guys? Do not that. <laughs> we could do anything but that. Yeah, it started like it's. It started strong until the words split happened, and then I think everyone was against it. Um, well, in I any mean, case, I don't plan. think we should continue to wait for anybody to show up, since it seems like it's been a while. Yeah. Hey. I guess we could try scouting out. But I don't know. I'm just trying to stall for time till the others get here. <laughs> um... They were at church. So ah. a little bit. That's why they're a little bit later. Oh yeah, here's Xanathar's for all the people who use it. Uh, yes. I think we should. Yeah, maybe scum. Right. Um. At that moment, there's a great knocking on the boulder. Gosford, get in the back now. Yeah. Um, get in the fucking back. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna stealth. Please. I'm gonna... Okay, so how many people are there? There's you, me, all... God... Okay, so there's me, Gosberg, Torvi, Peepers, Cornelius, but Gosberg... Cornelius is not there. Okay. Cornelius waited outside. Oh, yeah. So Did there's Cornelius, four of us. Like, a celestial? He's a yeah, celestial he summon. steed summoned by Gosberg. Yeah. But he can be resummoned. Cornelius is trying to, like... He can yeah. be resummoned by if Gosberg casts the spell again. Gotcha. Uh, is it what like fine? Steve. Fine Steve. Uh, I'll tell you guys the reason he's not doing that right now is that uh, currently Cornelius is your only link to the outside world, and Moonin has approached him, like the the tribe has approached him. That checks so, out. So they're gonna try to communicate their plan to you guys through Cornelius. I'm going to cast Invisibility on... And you guys have, we'll say, Gosberg now realize, relays that information as Cornelius comes back within a mile's range. So, okay, so is... Okay, yeah, because... I'll catch right there. Okay, so I will cast Invisibility on the four of us. Me, Tor Tor okay, Tor Okay, I, I, before you start doing that, I want to relay, this isn't like a... This isn't like a, a battering ram. Just like they're not knocking. Any yeah, any giant could move this boulder. It's literally just knocking. Okay. But it's it's loud, large fisted knocking. It's like it sounds like a giant is knocking. Yeah, it sounds like I mean, if a you think if a human knocked, you wouldn't hear it because it's a boulder. So hello. I'm gonna gesture towards uh, uh, the storm giant and be like, "Wait, is there a bed? There is. Yes, there is. Can Not. we hide under? Oh, wasn't she tied up? On? She was chained to the wall. Oh, chained to the wall. There is a table. That's you can hide under the table if you wish. That's not as good as hiding under a bed. Honestly, Zafrab is probably small enough that he could like hide in the food bowls, probably. Okay. Oh my god, that's so cute. He's just like hiding behind a giant pear. Like Mickey and the Beanstalk. <laughs> I'm gonna gesture. Do you want to do that? Um, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? I gesture to the storm giant system and be like, Say something. 
you, we can talk normally. There's a boulder between us and them. Say hello or something. We don't want to be suspicious. Act tomorrow. Got it. Act, act. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Cowards! <laughs> 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 I just got reminded of that fucking adventure zone thing. What? Like the the thing, like it's an early on thing where they're like, they were like, where it's like, all right, we got we got to like intimidate them. Like it's like, hey asshole. It's like no nicer than that. It's like it's like, hail and well met. No, too too nice, too nice. It's like. <laughs> It reminded me when it's like, don't come in here! Like, like all the bodies, all the dead bodies made me really horny! Like, Hail and well met! It's like, it's like, no, too nice! Jerk! <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> um, so she says that, and from the other side you hear the voice of the cloud giant. Which, by the way, I said sub-chief, I said he was sub-chief last time, they don't have, they have a Jarl, not a chief. That's because Harper couldn't find the goddamn word. Thane. Replace what I said with Thane. That's what a Jarl would have. Okay, yeah. Stop. Stop that's, Thane. That's just me. He's the Thane. He's the uh, Thane he's to the Jarl. Thane. Uh, I'm Thane a Thane. Thane. It is a mighty honor. <laughs> Skyrim. Um, uh, he says, The Jarl requests the presence of yourself and your companions. <laughs> Their meeting is to happen within the hour. You wanted a meeting. True, we did. Um, I'm gonna look over there, uh, there and be like, Joey, you don't know what he's talking about. See y'all on weekend. Play this out. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one in here. Why don't you come in and see? I guess invisibility on... Um... Corby, Geisberg... Do you? Yeah. I mean... Okay. He and, doesn't come in. Oh, okay. And, oh, I guess I would do it if I saw the boulder maybe. Yeah. You see lightning crackle on her fingertips as she's awaiting. <laughs> No, that is unnecessary. Your companions have one hour for the meeting they seek. Otherwise, they will have to reschedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not, not a reschedule. Oh boy. And there will be a fee for no! showing up. You will, your card will still be charged. No! <laughs> what card? <laughs> what card? Gosberg's like, Oh no! Oh, that was a company card! Oh, we're gonna get in trouble. No, I'm messing. Uh, what, you guys didn't get a company card? No. Can I get one? <laughs> sure, but you can only use it when you talk about business. <laughs> Great. It's for business reasons. Yeah, totally, totally. I'm not gonna use it for anything weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna just use it to buy, like, bags and bags of hay. I'm not using it for drugs. <laughs> like... Deer drugs? Deer drugs, yeah. Oh boy. Do deer eat hay? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> bags and bags of, like, corn feed. So... They know. Right? What do we do? What else do they know? It's so all about your food. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not my boot. Grognir has like the boot on his finger. Yeah, Grognir is just like heck, holding it by the shoestring. Why do I need to follow Snur when I carry such power? When I have this artifact in my hands, I am unstoppable. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Puts it on his trophy wall. So, I like how many other boots is made of paint now. The left boot. Okay, so we have a... Stop. to spell magic on yourself. That's my <laughs> advice. Oh my god, can you imagine that someone dispels magic on Zafra? And and just, just, Aww! <laughs> she's like a boot covered in wet paint. I'm like, 
Uh, or not even a book. It's just a foot like, covered in wet paint. It's like, oh, no, nah, <laughs> oh, this is, damn it. I got to take a bath now. <laughs> Standing on somebody's really nice carpet. Oh, no! So you keep making enemies. <laughs> Uh, it's like you went to apologize to the nobleman who you insulted in Emberhold. I was careful with that carpet. Them. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's like, careful with my carpet. And I'm all, oh, don't mind the anti-magic field. No. At the door, it's to keep out magical assassins. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> uh, Might make that a thing. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Uh, with with you're on voice chat, by the way. This is uh, they're asking to meet with all of us. They they seem to know. Yes, but do they want us to meet with Grunter? Yeah. Yeah, would seem so. Yeah. Late. Yeah, it's not too late, so we can figure this out. So. Boy. What are we gonna do, Zafra? Mm. God, guys, I know you, you can be socially awkward sometimes, but <laughs> like, <laughs> you made a meeting. You're like, fuck, y'all. Like, I didn't think it would fuck you up this much. Should... Fine. Let's move. Oh, yeah. I'm joking. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Something horrible. They don't want me to know the plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the potions. <laughs> Alright, y'all continue playing. Okay. Oh, did I miss a call? Shit. I missed a call. I missed a call from Andy. Let's, I might get that real quick. Okay, well. Don't mind me, we're gonna pause the episode. We're pausing. Okay. My phone's on silent. <laughs> I, I have potions if anyone needs to be dealt out anything. What kind of potions? I've got a potion of what was it, uh, fire resistance. You have fire resistance, I believe. Yeah. A potion of fire resistance, a potion of healing. A potion... I don't of, know what exact potions of healing you guys have. That's up to you guys to keep track of. Yeah, I but can yeah. look at my sheet. Yeah. Uh, we've got a potion of diminution. Uh, yeah. Demogorgon. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Yes, use them, Demogorgons. Yeah, potion of Demogorgon. Pocket yeah. Zap Rab. Yeah. Uh, then we also have potion of poison. That's great. Uh, potion of water breathing. Not super helpful. Potion of invisibility. And then, yeah, that's what I got. Hmm. You also have. Potion of Growth and the Potion of Storm Giant Strike. Yes. <sighs> yeah, so... There's also a bunch of magical hair dyes. Love that. I'm not touching those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Romite? What? It, what? Yeah, we got magical hair dye. Oh, cool. I'm going to... Pick... What? How is, how is it magical? <laughs> One of them will make your hair invisible forever. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> you'll have hair, but you'll look bald. Okay, I don't want that. So, there's also... What else? There's one... There's, Let's, a, green, there's a green one. There's green, oh, yeah. purple, okay, and blue. Can I see it? Yeah, I'll just read them. Uh, so, there's green grung dye. Uh, the bottle reads Lift, and it turns not only your hair green, but also your feet and hands. And well affected by the dye... You act, you act as though under the effect of a jump spell and spider climb spell. But each time you make use of either effect, you take a d4 of acid damage. It's not so bad. Uh, yeah. Lasts for seven days or until your hair is washed. Okay. There's also blue dye, which reads loud. Okay. You, your hair becomes incredibly loud, generating magically intense rustling and crackling sounds each time you move. You automatically fail stealth checks if that based on hearing. And you have disadvantage on perception checks involving hearing. As a bonus action, you can shake your hair to cast Thunder Wave. Oh. If your hair is really long, it might rise to 3d8 or 4d8 at 
your determination. Just put that on like a dog. Shakes. And then purple grung dye is, I mean, basically makes your hair function as a decanter of endless water. Um, you just bring out your hair and just water? Yeah. yeah. Uh, little, and if you have very long sauce. hair, you can do the geyser effect. Huh. That's kind of fun. Yeah. There's know. also Medusa oil, which will turn your hair into snake-shaped nice. braids and give you the uh, it give you the small snake bite attack of the Medusa, but also the power to turn people into stone. That's actually super cool. Yeah. How long do these last? Last one? Uh, so the grung dies last until you wash it or seven days, and the Medusa oil is permanent until dispel magic or dispel evil and good or similar magic is used. So, wait, it doesn't turn your hair into snakes, but it... You, you get braids, and they look like snakes. There's also color remover, which is basically acid that you can throw at people if you wanted to do so. Ooh, maybe I'll... Gosberg has all these things. Um, there's also permanent gel that just makes... It's really strong hair gel. Um, maybe I'll put that, like, oil. I have long hair. It never goes cool, away. But then you turn everybody into stone. What? Do they have, do, no matter what, or can I just focus it on somebody? What? To turn someone into stone. Or is it just like an automatic thing? Uh, it's, it works the same as a Medusa if they look in your eyes. That's rough. So, no one... Super dangerous. You're not immune to it. That's the important distinction. Everyone was... Everybody was like, who's that? Hey. We're all dyeing our hair. Yeah, we might. I'm gonna call Andy again. Yeah. We're all gonna be Medusa, every single one of us. <laughs> so not uh, probably a good idea. And we're yeah. all gonna turn ourselves into stone. <laughs> you guys have one dose of Medusa oil. What if we all what if only you drink do it, it on one of lock of hair? It it. Call from Andy Tran. I don't. Maybe we just have one. Why not? Snake free. Why not? Well, yeah, we could all have one say It'd be like a friendship thing. <laughs> uh, we are in the back. Okay, I'm on my way. Right now. We're in the back room. We're in the back room. Come in. Come actually in. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my. Really, dude? We're in the back room! You were here and you left because you didn't see anybody? And hey. We're in the back room. <laughs> like always. They didn't see us, so they went to go get lunch. <laughs> That's really weird. Alright, um... So, we'll say for the purposes of this, I was stalling time for time for them to get here. Um, so, you guys, uh, Moonin takes uh, you, Ro, Cornelius, Asgrix, and uh, your companion for this journey, who is accompanied by a uh, black mastiff. Okay. I didn't hear that. What was that? I, okay, I'm not going to worry about it right, right now. Meg can come if she wants to hear stuff. Perfect. Wait. Uh, I didn't say their name. Don't worry about it. Uh, so you are brought to within a mile, it's like, and uh, among with some other people, including Scrump among them. Uh, oh yeah, Meg, Scrump is there. <laughs> um, Scrump diddly up. So, uh, Moonin begins casting a spell. He's like, you're all willing, right? This is so we can communicate with each other. Yeah. Cool. And he cast this spell over the course of a minute. I just kind of twiddle my thumbs for 60 seconds. He casts it, and as he does, he strikes the ground to complete it. And a bunch of ravens made of snow fly out of the ground. And fly into your face. Ah! And it hits your face, and then there's no raven anymore. 
it kind of dispersed. And it does that to everyone, to all eight people. And Moonin looks at you, and without moving his lips, he says, Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Good. It worked. I think at him, I'm like, can you hear me? Yes. Wow! <laughs> oh, man, I missed having voices in my head. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> so he's he has cast a telepathic bond on yourself, himself, the leaders of the war party, and Cornelius. So now, you guys have a telepathic link to Cornelius, who has a tel- which means you can understand him even though he can't speak, which gives you a telepathic link to Gosberg down in the down below. So now, you guys can communicate. Okay, Cornelius. So Ro can communicate with yeah. uh, Arungandir and Zafrap and them. It's like, let us bring the f- Cornelius says to you, let us bring the fight to these giants, Ro Capriolus. Yeah, and Ro's just like... Paladin um, of the old gods. <laughs> you hear... <laughs> That's all it goes <laughs> to their head all the time. It's like the, they stare off into nothing about what he's thinking about. <laughs> he's so mysterious. Oh, okay. So, is there anything you guys would like to communicate with each other? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to yeah, tell so Gosberg to tell you uh, all what's going down. I guess. If we figure out that... Uh, we can Gosberg begins communicating that that's yeah. happened to you. We're going to be meeting up. So we need people to get here as fast as possible. Yeah, let's run Devis. What? Let's run Devis. Rendezvous? Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. So yeah, let's run Tevis. Um Yeah, okay. That's a ten dollar word. Very much <laughs> so. so should we wait I guess I'm communicating through Gosberg. Um should we wait for you guys to come here or are you going to um, they can come to you. I, yeah, I can come Moon, to you guys, probably. Moon in hands your companion a scroll of Featherfall. Oh, that's useful. Because uh, the dog and the battle cats can't climb a rope, mm. so that's how you guys are going to get down. Okay. I have fancy shoes, so... That wouldn't help you in a hundred foot fall. Yeah. Well, down I go. How many times do you want to fall down, Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. All the time. Okay. Um, yeah, so, All right, yeah, so, let's go. Uh, Moonin communicates to you guys, should we begin the battle up top? Commence the fighting. All right. Yeah, It comments. shall begin. We will fight them up top, you shall fight them on below. We will rejoin you when we can. Alright. Good luck. And to you. Yeah, May the gods be like with you. Yeah. And Moonin turns into a crow and his him and his warriors march off. And we see the scene of Moonin <sighs> turns back into himself at the head of the Leviki warriors. All these tieflings and humans with spears and atlatls, little spear holders, spear chuckles, um, and bow and arrow. And we see the 25 warriors that accompanied Scrump from Stalheim in their metal and leather armor. Scrump with his red half cloak billowing in the wind majestically. <laughs> and we see at the side of the Luviki forces, a 25 foot tall tiefling. Yeah. And two bipedal polar bear men. Wow! Bear cops. The giant tiefling uh, and begins striding forward and 
frost giants are coming to meet them on the field. The giant tiefling lifts his hand to the side, his empty hand. And a giant axe comes, flies into it. That's so cool. That's cool. That's so cool. Yeah. And the two sides begin marching yeah. towards each other, slowly at first. And Moonin says to Scrump, it's like, you ready for this? Like, no, but well. let's do it. He draws his short sword. Now And then they begin running towards each other, the two opposing sides. Ah! The giants begin hurling boulders, and the tieflings begin casting magical darkness to obscure the view of the frost giants. Smart. You all may know of the spell darkness when used by a spellcaster among your team, but used by an army, it envelops the frost giants entirely. Well, keep your ears. And we see Moonin riding into battle on top of Hindsight, the owl bear. <laughs> Woo! Gods be with you, Ro, Ro Capriolis. Ro! Yeah. <laughs> From your side, you are climbing the mountain. Yeah. Eric, come. I'm climbing it. With the mysterious strength. Cornelius, your companion, the Mastiff, and Asgrix have all joined you and are climb jumping up the mountain, and you reach the side of things. You believe you see the tunnel where you are supposed to go, and you see frost giants running out of that tunnel. Two of them run out and begin running towards the field. Uh, away from you. They don't yeah. see you. You haven't gone down yet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I run in the tunnel. As soon as I'm okay. up, I run in You guys the are still up. Oh, You're still well, up I on the glacier. He pulls, he pulls out the scroll. Reads it. My com my mystery companion? Yes, your mystery companion. <laughs> and casts Featherfall on the five of you. The animals and yourselves. <sighs> and you all jump off. And you land safely on the, gr on the ground below. I hold up my hand for a high five for my companion. Alright. He's rather short, so you have to put it a little bit lower. <laughs> it's a low five. It is a low five. Nice. And you guys begin running into the tunnels below. And there you see, to your right-hand side, you know, uh, concealed is the boulder that hides the entrance to the frost giants. But I know they're in Lower there, level. Right? You know, yeah. The boulder is expertly hidden, but you know it's there. You're getting the communiques from the rest of your team. Can yeah, you the boulder's right there. Boulder? Sure. He's not very strong, but he'll help. You'll help? Okay. So you have advantage on your strength check. And the animals are helping you too. Okay. Surrounded by every animal. Have advantage, you said? Yep. Don't even need it. Well, it's a 13, so I can't move it. <laughs> like, you don't you really get the grip right? We're here. <laughs> Let us in. Oh. Sure, I'll go help move the boulder. Alright. Is this the boulder to the room that we're in? That's or? the boulder to the lower level of the frost. So we're not frost there. Giants. You guys are still hiding in the storm giant prison yeah. room. Um, you have your own boulder and a bunch of frost giants waiting outside, probably, maybe, who knows? Hmm. What if I kick it with my boots of striding and spring? It's still an athletics. Did you do athletics or did you do strength? Oh, I did straight strength. What's your if you added your athletics? What is it? Twenty. Yeah, athletics are probably better. What is this pathway? Oh my god. If I had athletics, it's a fifteen. Okay, no. Yeah. Wait, are you proficient in athletics? No. And also, what's your strength? My strength is plus five. My athletics? Unprofic- Oh, my athletics is plus nine. 
There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Seventeen. Didn't you get a thirteen or something? No, I I got an eight plus five. Okay. Now it's an eight plus nine, so it's seventeen. Okay. Um, no, that doesn't. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I can't move it. Um. Hmm. What do you do, can fam? I, can I? Could I have? Did I move it at all? Can I like? Is there any room for me to slide through? Uh, no. Slide, slide into the DM. Mm. Mm. What's the wall made out of? It's stone. Ugh. Do you have stone shape? No. Oh, uh, can I misty step through it? No. I think you have to see where you're misty stepping. But I'll check. Yeah, so I forgot how to spell it. Uh, yeah, briefly surrounded by silvery mist, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. Huh. Is there any room on top of the you boulder? You can try again. Okay, I'll try again. <laughs> Do I still have advantage? You see yes. my friend still helping me? Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a 27. Alright. Like I said. You begin moving the boulder with the help of the animals and your little friend. Alright. Uh, and... Sorry, I don't, know, when you do, I don't know what got into me. You just got bad leverage on that first one. Yep. Now you know. Now my you got it. My hands are sweaty, I guess. Um, you open the door and you see a surprised frost giant. <laughs> And there's a giant iron horn hanging from chains from the ceiling. And he sees you, and he, uh, oh, roll initiative. Oh. But you know, you get in your head, this is gonna be funny. Okay. <laughs> but roll initiative. Alright. I'm like, hold on, I have to fight somebody real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, I got a nat 20. Cool. Okay. Let me... Uh, I'll come. Oh, my, um, but yeah, he's gonna roll for initiative. And you can tell as soon as he gets his turn, he's gonna blow that horn and probably alert everybody. Okay. But I'm gonna... He's not gonna get better than that 20. Fuck it. What do you wanna do? Uh, I'm gonna... Can cut into his, uh, his ankle and try and... Knock him prone. Okay. Yeah. Roll uh, an attack. Yeah. Roll an attack. Roll an attack. So the first one is um, a 22 to hit. That'll hit. The second one is a, only a 14 to hit. The 14? Let me check. I don't think that hits. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. It does not. Yeah, that's fine. It does not hit. That's okay. I still get the first one. I'm using the... Okay, can you please hang up on Meg, on Jonathan's phone, please? Yeah. I don't need all that beeping. Okay. Damage is... Um, I'll go ahead and do Divine Smite on it, too. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now check it. Ladies, what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Being a frost giant. <laughs> being in the ice cave. Ice caves. <laughs> It's only 18. 18 points of damage? Yeah. Okay. We're at 18 with him. So he gets cut oh, right in his leg, right in the tendons. Uh, the rest of your team can go. So we're going to say Asgarix attacks and hits for sure with one of his attacks. Uh, leaps on the giant. And gets, I believe he has a plus three, so I call it nine. Um, so he deals another nine points of damage. Cornelius leaps to attack, ha, <laughs> and gets. He does. He does bad because oh. I rolled low. Um, and then. Dang it, Cornelius! Your companion still has to level up. So I'm not gonna use his sheet right now because he okay. does. He's not. Up to date, and he doesn't oh. have any attack cantrips. Uh, no we'll good. say he just like fucking stabs. He stabs the guy. Oh, um, caster with a with a knife. Oh uh, yeah, he I, he is a caster mostly, but I'm not using his shit right now. That's fine. Ha! Huh. Okay, that was a bad idea. 
uh, the giant is going to use his turn to blow the horn. No! You're just in time. The giant is going to use his time to blow the horn. Yes. Oh, wait. No. The mastiff will attack. The mastiff misses. Uh, wait, or you. does it? Hello. Where am I? I'm over here. I'm there. can sit wherever you want, Mike. I will sit here. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me check. Um... Jonathan just doesn't want to sit next to me anymore. Yeah, that's he right. Thinks I the smell bad. Yep, okay. It's kind of rude. Uh, you said it first. I was not going to say anything. That's right. That's right. Uh, so, the giant blows the horn. Dang. And where is... Okay. So, and not, no sound comes out. Huh. You hear some air escape, like something is blocking it. Like, say, a bunch of hides. And you see the giant step away from the horn. Did you guys do something? <laughs> with a bunch of red powder at his lips and nose. <coughs> and he's going to make a saving throw with disadvantage. Um, Rose just like... <laughs> okay. Let's see if he can get worse than that. Roll the two and a three. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I don't think that makes the constitution saving throw. <laughs> Didn't even need to give him disadvantage, but I did, because that was a good plan. He was heading right into it. He wasn't ready for that. So, that giant is now unable to breathe while sneezing uncontrollably. <laughs> and it's yeah. dust of sneezing and choking. So I think it's mostly choking, but some of it comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Good so, job, guys. That was does, good... does Zafra and the Narangadir get inspiration from that? <laughs> sure. Hey! <laughs> Ro, remember you <laughs> have inspiration as well. Yeah, yeah. From, from a while. Um, but yeah, so that guard is now sneezing uncontrollably. What an idiot. And choking and can't basically warn his companions uh so and you see up ahead in that hallway let me move some minis around where'd you get that i bought i i did not buy it I made you made it, it. nice i was gonna That's say the i guard. bought the leather mm -hmm. and made it but i almost said i bought it it's bomb. i need two of that so we'll say for the sake of things he's on the ground unable to do much He's dying. No, he's not. Um, if you want to run yeah. past him, you can. If you yeah. want to continue fighting, you can. Yeah, I'm good. I don't, All right. I don't really need to kill this guy. <laughs> he's like, he's gonna, like, suffocate, probably, yeah. so... It's kind of sad, but, you know... Bummer. When you think about oh, it... Oh, no. How I, I cast sad. I cast the major around myself, because why wouldn't I... Shit's popping off. Yeah. yeah, uh, I'll go through... You know what? Yeah, I'll slit his throat as I go by. Okay. Um... Shit, bro. God damn. Make an attack roll, but I'm not giving you an auto kill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a 29 to hit. That'll hit. Oh. That'll sure as hell hit. Oh, well, I'll, I get multi attack, so can I yeah. do twice? Uh, the second one's only 14 again, so. That'll hit? Oh, well, no, it won't. No. No, it won't. 15. Wait, so he's, but he's prone. Do I get advantage? He's not prone. He is merely sneezing and coughing a lot. Oh. I thought you said he fell over. He's kind of like, he's kind of keeled over oh. a little bit, like. <laughs> Dude. Incapacitated. Wait, you might get advantage on these. Um, let me check the book. What does the book say about incapacitated? It means you might get. It's only 20 damage, so. Uh, okay. 20 damage. Let me check the, uh, the rules. The rules. Let me check the rules. The King K rules. Um, so incapacitated. Can't take actions or reactions. So yeah, he literally can't do shit. Um, that's actually really powerful dust. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, that was good use of your one use of it. Okay. Um, so 20 points of damage. So he's you don't get advantage, so you can't okay. roll that. But he can't do jack shit to you if you run away now. Yeah. How long does it last for? Literally until he makes the saving throw. 
Yeah, he doesn't get a reaction, right? So he can't. He doesn't get a reaction. He can't yeah. hit you. There's yeah, so nothing I, he can do. Yeah, so I just I cut him real good and then I leave. All right, so you Bye. run yeah. very fast with your companions Super on your heels, fast. and you see a bunch of frost giants up ahead. Five, to be exact. Whoa. Or is it four? Is it four? No, it's five. I'm going to. I'm going to be like, guys, you'll never believe what happened. This guy just, like, started dying. I swallowed some spit. <laughs> he just, um, like, started choking and sneezing and then, like, fell over. What an idiot. <laughs> the gods truly must be blessing our journey. <laughs> yes. This wasn't you at all I, like, preparations. Keep going. Okay, uh, then you I'm see like, oh, wait. There's a bunch of frost giants here, like five of them. And you can see all five of these frost giants carrying have at their hip a battle axe. Oh, yeah, guys. Although some are wielding other weapons. One is the female frost giant you recognized from before. Mm -hmm. uh, and as well as the male one that rung into your really fucked up. There's one wearing a horned helm. There's one who isn't wielding a big old massive weapon, but he has a spear has and a shield. Weapons. And there's another one wielding a war hammer made of bone and stone. Whoa. Bones. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm almost to you guys. Yeah. There's five frost giants in the way. Yeah, not Stay um, back just a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I can... Uh, I mean, I could try and sneak past them, but if they see me... You see, you can bad. see just on the edge of your vision, slightly covered by the rock outcropping right there, uh, but you can see the boulder, oh. and you can tell from Cornelius and Gosberg's connection. That's it! <laughs> oh, you know what? You guys are, like, right here. So if you want to just, like, move the boulder, we could totally ambush these guys. Can we do five? Can you guys take five? I that <gasps> could be possible. Uh, and the cloud giant? What cloud giant? Isn't there a cloud giant in there? He's not standing there. He's not standing there. I didn't say that. You guys also oh. have a storm giant with you, don't you? Didn't you say it was the cloud giant? Do you think she'd fight with us? I said five frost giants are standing there. The cloud giant was there before. The cloud giant knocked on the door. He didn't, like, stick around like, I'm waiting. I think of that cloud giant like Squidward. <laughs> what? Do you think the storm giantess would fight with us? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And if we got her a weapon with one of these guys. No, yeah, definitely. one of these guys. So... I'm sure one of them will be willing to give one to me. If not, you can always take it for Open someone. up that door. Okay. Should I just yeah. charge in? Wait a second. We'll start we attacking the flank. Sig single? What's the single? Sig <laughs> What's signal? The signal? Is it row, 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 your boat? Yes, it is row, row, It's the hit row, signal. Alright, fine. The signal is row, 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 your boat. Okay. Alright. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. And she, I rage. she kicks the boulder out, <laughs> and with this massive force, everyone roll for initiative. Ah! Okay. Cool. I'm waiting for the signal. Done. 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 Cartoon. Right. Oh, well, that I is. guess it, it's... Yeah. Da -da, okay. Da -da, da -da, da -da. That's Perry Mason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... Where'd my... Where'd my little... Well, the X-Men one was on, like, an electric guitar or something. Um, where the frickety frack did my things go? There's my things. <laughs> uh, so... So, who got above 20? Oh my god, really? Oh, what did you roll, Jordan? <gasps> oh no. no, is that a one? <laughs> no, it's a seven. Okay. No, it's a one. It's a one? Ah -ha! It's a seven. That's rough. No, it was a one. You have failed my initiative riddle. <laughs> <laughs> um, who okay. got 15 and above? I got a 19. I got a 15. No, I got a 10. What am I saying? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Math? Math. I, 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 like, Math. added five. What do I? What is? Maddie, like, <laughs> 14. I'm like, wait, So five. 10? 10. 10. 10. 
Definitely least, ten. My low, at least my lowest is ten. That's insane. I rolled a five. I added five for my initiative. What about you? Okay. I rolled an eleven and I added plus three to my initiative. Cool. All right. Arungandia. Yeah. Five frost giants who you fought before. Uh huh. And you will fight again. At first, as my free action, I'm going to yell, "Row, row, row your boat." Then, row, row, row your boat, and they're like, Whoa. At the first, the first time you say row, I'm like, what? And then I'm like, oh, the signal. And then I'm yeah. going to charge in there. Um, do I see any of them that look worse for wear? No, they are all untouched. They've had like two or three days to recover since last you fought them. Okay, I'm going to attack uh, the one that's fools. right in front me of me. Too. Right in front of you? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to swing at them. With my trust. So, Wait. we'll say, this is the dude you messed up before. You. You. Hell singing, small folk. Can you hand me that book? So the first strike, not great. That was a 13. <laughs> no. Yeah, I fell off a long. Oh my god. Not perfect. 17? 17 will hit. Okay. Let's double that damage. Not bad. So run into your charges into 20, the prey. Uh, Twenty-five points. Twenty-five points of damage. No, twenty-seven points. Twenty-seven points of damage. Yes. All right. And cuts into this giant and Waith yells out, "Yes, into the fray!" And then, Charge, warriors! <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action to slap him with some lightning. All right. Dex save. Roll. He's really awesome at this. It's a natural one. That's amazing. He takes some damage. I'm getting a different dice. That's kind of cool, though, right? Takes yeah. five zap. Oh my god, is that a bruise? No, no, oh my god. Okay, no, I was gonna be like, holy shit, that's disgusting, and I can't look at it. It is the bruise in the world. <laughs> like, I hate glittery. bruises. I hate bruises. I'm gonna have a wild one on my thigh, I wanna tell ya. Oh, yeah. I, uh, oh, oh. I couldn't have been a doctor. Alright, next up. I could deal with severed limbs. Bro. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna go charging. I don't know. Uh, at whatever giant I can reach. Okay. okay. Closest. We'll yes. say that's the Warhammer guy. Yeah, I'll get the Warhammer guy, and I'm gonna uh, cast Blinding Smite on my blade, and I'm gonna uh, go at him with two attacks. Oh wait, this fits. Oh, we're the first one's a twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight will hit. The second one's a For seventeen sure. to hit. Seventeen will also hit. Yay! Okay, mm -hmm. that's from like. Avenge me. So the first one is... My first hit. Anyway, Actually, I'll just roll them together if that's awesome. okay. Do it! And he needs to make a saving throw for that blinding, yes? Yes. What kind of save? Um, Do you know? Constitution. That was piss poor! I don't think his... Yeah, I don't... Uh, I uh, love that so much. What's the BC? Yes, please. Yeah, his is amazing. It is the absolute... I think he still failed. Yes. Uh, 15. He fails! Yay! Okay. I've been blinded by science! <laughs> yeah, so your sword glows with holy energy as you cast this blinding smite. And you slash at him. And there's a flash of radiance, and he goes, ah! And then you slice into him again. Nice. You actually technically probably get advantage on that second strike if you want to see if you got 20. Four points of damage. Oh, one more time to see if we got a crit. We did not. Forty-four. Forty-four points of damage. All right, that guy's not doing so. Oh. Back in my day, forty-four. Man, now, <laughs> it is your allies' turn. Your allies. Back when we were all at fourth level. Your allies. Uh, I gotta run Gosberg a little bit, but we're gonna start with the main attraction. Here, and Gosberg is here. Is it Cornelius? Because he has Hello. a mane? Yes. 
I am very much sorry. It's okay. Oh, you look very lovely. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. guess you also look lovely. Thank you. What's up? What's up? I feel bad now. And you guys, as you all begin to charge out of the cavern, shit has popped off, by the way. Uh, yeah, just put this I assume so. Somewhere your way. As you begin to charge out of the cavern, you guys, you see, running towards you, your friend Ro, but also, not only Cornelius, the lion, Asgrix the giant lynx, and a black mastiff, you see the, the familiar form... Of Mr. Flindle Cash. I knew it! Already? Oh, I was gonna... When you said small, I knew it. Oh, get in here, We're good friends Level up to 12, buddy. In each oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Ro, you thought it was weird that that guy who was just like selling guitars in Nutwood was like here to battle. But, but I'm glad he's here. The um, more the merrier. Yeah. Everyone's so, a hero in their own way. We're gonna do a small I flashback to a few months ago. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I am a Just pull the chair out. Bastard, so. Pull the chair out. Yeah. Pull the chair out. I'll have our fortune cookies. Our black fortune cookies. Cool. So, Flindle Cash, a few months ago, you kind of given up on adventuring. Ricky got arrested. Vilmern has a village to run. The hunt for Haas the Marauder had not gone the way you'd planned. <laughs> and you kind of settled down a little more. You know, selling guitars. Got a job at the local music shop. Uh, right. Yeah, it's not much, but it's honest work. I'm all about that honest work. And then a, oh, no, I'm good. a half orc walks into the shop one day as you're tuning a guitar. The dog is sitting under your feet. Uh, did you ever come up with a name for him? I have a dog. You, yeah, there's a mastiff that saved you from Hawes at the end oh. of the Kamiya, remember? Uh. Uh, Deckard. Deckard is sitting yeah. under your feet. Um, and he's kind of like, you didn't really ask for a dog, but like, he kind of follows you around, so. Really quick. Yeah. Oh, thank ah. you. Sorry for the noise. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a large black mastiff, and he's size medium, so you can ride him. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, um, but yeah, this half orc walks into the store in this flashback. It's like, Flindle Cash. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been forced in a while. Yeah. Who needs the cash? <laughs> this world is at war, Flindle Cash. War with giants. We need you. You don't need me. What you people need is a hero. <laughs> <laughs> a hero you won't find. You bastards. <laughs> the blood is gonna line the streets. The world once, has many heroes, for the cash. Listen, once the blood scabs over in the sewers, the whores and the politician will look up at me. And they will they will scream, save us. And I will look down at them. Whisper now. Oh my god. Such a drama queen. <laughs> I read that comic book too. You can't fool me. Okay, we're okay. Flindle's journal. Flindle's <laughs> journal. Gosper doesn't seem to be affected by if my. If you won't do it, if you won't do it for yourself or for your country, will you do it for your friends, Torvi and Gosberg? I look at Decker and I Ooh. say, "It's time to suit up, old boy." <laughs> All right. I just thought like you, if you right? said no, and then you got up and just left. <laughs> left. We're like, okay, like this surprise appearance. All right, bye. I, I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. I think so. A <laughs> few things. One, you can upgrade that. to stud leather if you want. So it's now twelve plus your dex. That's great. Yeah. What a stud. Two, level up to level twelve. That might take a while. That will take a while. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. We have time. 